So how y'all doing today? It's of course your boy Volandis back with another video. And as you guys seen by the title and the video, we're talking about the coolest way to film a video. Now we'll be sitting here lying to ourselves if we said we didn't like a good smooth gimbal shot. Some of my favorite shots and scenes in movies are made with gimbals. And it's just something about the dopamine kick that goes to your brain when you see a nice smooth just tracking shot of something that's on a gimbal when, whenever you watch a video. It's just something about it that hits the brain different. Now specifically in this video, we're talking about the Zhuin Crane 4. Now I feel like I should talk to you guys about the things that I personally liked about this gimbal and the things that I will be personally using and who I think this gimbal is made for. Now as you guys know, I don't run many ads or sponsors on these videos unless I truly love the product that's being sponsored. I can't really even tell you guys the last time I even used the gimbal because I don't really do too much gimbal work. I'm usually on a tripod or doing handheld work because I don't really like balancing gimbals and bringing gimbals with me and all the other stuff and extra things that you know come with using a gimbal. But I will say that the Crane 4 kind of changed my mind about a lot of those things. So with the Crane 4, it's definitely smaller than any other gimbal that I've ever used before. So I think the last time I bought and used a gimbal was probably back in like 2017. And the reason why I didn't necessarily love using those gimbals back then was because of how much space they kind of took up and how unnecessarily annoying they were to carry around. But I will say that with the Crane 4, all of that is non-existent. Probably the smallest and most lightweight gimbal I've ever used and very easy to compact and put in a bag or in your car or wherever you're going to put it. Now I personally love the design of the Crane 4. Now I probably won't be using this but I love that it comes with a wrist guard because if you're using this gimbal for a very long time or filming something for a very long time you can rest your wrist on something and then that gives you a little bit extra room to film for longer and just be a little bit more comfortable. I love the fact that you can lock all the axes so it stays in place and doesn't move around when you're storing it somewhere. Another thing that I really didn't like about using gimbals was how much time it took to balance one. The good thing about the Crane 4 is that it has balanced light indicators. So you never really have to guess which part of the gimbal is unbalanced, which in my opinion saved me a lot of time when I went to go balance this thing. I also feel like every single gimbal ever should have that feature. And me personally, I love that this has a adjustable sling grip. So you can get two points of contact on the gimbal if you want to. And it just makes it easier to put in different positions so you have more control over the gimbal when in different scenarios. I would also like to mention that it has a built-in fill light, which is amazing. I could definitely see myself using that when I'm in a pinch for light. I also love that you can also adjust the temperature of this light if you wanted to. And to be honest, it's a pretty bright light, probably definitely better than using your phone or whatever point of light you have on you because it's attached to the gimbal and it moves with you. So you never have to like have somebody hold a light or something like that, which is cool and dope. And I like that. Now the menu system of this gimbal. I don't think I've ever used a gimbal with a menu system this straightforward and just easy to use. Super, super easy to connect this to Bluetooth, whether you're using a follow focus or your camera so you can start and stop your camera within the gimbal which is super cool you can control follow focuses with the front wheel and other little bluetooth gadgets that you might have to put on this gimbal which is dope to me it also has different modes within the gimbal that you can use while you're shooting whether you're following somebody whether you need to lock on to something or even get a pov shot it also supports a wide variety of cameras like these mirrorless cameras that we use and even some cinema cameras. Now me personally, I wouldn't do this, but you can use it in portrait mode if you're trying to make reels or TikToks or whatever you're trying to do, which is cool for the people who want to do that. Now the one thing that I love the most about this gimbal 
that doesn't happen too often is that right out the package it was ready to go fully charged and just ready to use and i've had it for like a week and i haven't even had to recharge it once so the battery life on this thing is insane now with that being said the gimbal does have some downfalls that are just like my personal preference within filmmaking now i love all the technology and all the things that's in this gimbal to make the lives of filmmakers easier because i think this gimbal is made for the solo filmmaker who goes out and just running guns and shoot stuff all by theirself which is me and i do think this gimbal will make the job of filmmakers easier which is a good thing now i definitely can see myself and i probably will be using this on a few projects especially my documentary that's coming up for some smooth little gimbal shots which i think would be super dope to use now that i think about it but i'm just so in a mindset of using things with less technology which is why i use like film cameras and stuff like that because it's just so straight to the point and just no really technology to kind of get in the way of just like filmmaking which is why most of the times, me personally, I use a camera and a tripod because I feel like that's all I personally need to make videos. But now since I have this, I do think that it would be cool to implement it into my documentary and some of these YouTube videos. Because I will say that the video that I made at the beginning of all this is probably one of my favorite videos that I've made in a long time. It actually looks like a intro for a documentary, which is super cool. And I couldn't have made that without this. So. It's good for something. And I think that if I'm gonna have and use a gimbal moving forward, I'm happy that it's this one. Now I do wanna say that although Juin is sponsoring this video, all of my opinions are my own. I do not lie to you guys or try to sell you guys on anything that I do not really care for. So yeah, I think the gimbal is great, especially for people who do the type of things that I do, which is like make YouTube videos and also do solo filmmaking, whether that's documentaries by yourself or commercial work by yourself. If you're by yourself, I feel like this gimbal is a lifesaver. So anyway, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, got something out of it. If you didn't, I apologize. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Please like, share, comment on the video, all of the stuff. I would really gratefully appreciate it. If for nothing else, the intro of this video was, I, I, I loved it. Probably one of my favorite things that I've ever done. No joke. I almost feel like we should make a documentary on Tev just because of that intro, just to use it for something. But yeah, man, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna go do some shit. You guys should do the same, man. Let's get it. Know the vibes, man.